good morning everyone myself dr krishnamurthy working as assistant professor in the department of chemistry jss arts science and commerce college gokak which is affiliated to rani chennamma university belagavi today we discussed about the chapter environmental chemistry this chapter comes in bsc fourth semester syllabus so this is the first session on this chapter so first we shall know about the syllabus environmental chemistry the chapter includes uh, first the introduction of environmental chemistry then air pollution that is types of pollutants sources and control measures that is carbon monoxide carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide nitrogen dioxide hydrogen sulfide hydrocarbons chlorofluorocarbons and particulates pesticides and their adverse effects then water pollution in this types of pollutants sources and adverse effects then parameters of water pollution dissolved oxygen that is do biological oxygen demand bod and chemical oxygen demand cod then their definitions and their determinations and treatment of sewage and industrial effluents in this uh, preliminary primary and secondary treatment so this is about uh, uh, the syllabus of uh, the chapter environmental chemistry so next uh, so as we know earth is uh, composed of uh, numerous minute substances and particles which are involved in our reactions leading to the formation of new ones so hence earth is said to be a closed system earth is said to be a closed system so and the energy comes and leaves the planet of which most of the mass stays here this means that all the elements on this planet are continuously recycling within the environment so as we know the meaning of the environmental chemistry environmental chemistry is the scientific study of the chemical and biochemical phenomena that occur in natural places environmental chemistry can be defined as the study of the sources reactions transport effects and fates of chemical species in the air soil and water environments and the effect of human activity on these so this is about uh, the meaning of environmental chemistry so next uh, the environmental chemistry is an interdisciplinary science that includes atmospheric aquatic and soil chemistry it is related to environmental and other areas of science environmental chemistry also contains aspects of organic and inorganic chemistry physical and analytical chemistry as well as uh, more diverse areas such as uh, epidemiology public health biochemistry biology and toxicology environmental chemists are responsible for finding how the unpolluted environment functions and to find the ways of sustainable development which do not harm the environment this is uh, the responsibility of environmental uh, chemists so next we know about the components of environment so that is atmosphere this comprises a blanket of gaseous layer around the earth that is atmosphere next hydrosphere this comprises about 96% of earth's surface and it includes all sources of water like oceans rivers lakes uh, glaciers groundwater etc next lithosphere it refers to earth's solid crust containing the outer mineral cover it comprises soil minerals organic matter etc so next is biosphere it refers to the domain of living organism in coalent with atmosphere 
hydrosphere as well as uh, lithosphere. So next, uh, the very important to all of us, uh, environmental pollution. So it is the process of contamination. So pollution, nothing but contamination. It is a process of contamination of the environment with harmful wastes arising mainly from human activities. So these are the terms uh, that is a pollutant. Pollutant uh, means any substance or species produced either by a natural source or by human activity which produces adverse effect on the environment. So that is called a pollutant. So next contaminant, a substance which does not occur in nature but is introduced by human activity into the atmosphere affecting its composition that is called contaminant. So next source, the site from which the pollution or contaminants originates that is uh, called source. Next sink, the material or the medium which consumes or interacts with a long-lived pollutant is called sink. Next receptor, anything that is affected by the pollutants, that is a receptor. Next a threshold limit value, that is called TLV. This indicates the permissible limit of a pollutant in atmosphere to which a healthy worker is exposed during hours a day or 40 hours a week for lifetime without any adverse effects. That is called TLV. TLV are determined by experimentation on animals by use of medical knowledge, epidemiology survey, surveys and uh, environmental studies. So next, uh, uh, contamination or pollution. So as we know, a contaminant is a substance present in nature at a level higher than typical levels. This may, this may be due to human activity that is called contaminant. The term contamination is often used uh, interchangeably with pollution. So these are uh, same meaning. So in fact, Environmental chemistry mainly deals with the study of these unwanted substances and their effects. Some contaminants of the environmental environment are mentioned below. That is a small contaminants. Small contaminants, nothing but these are uh, the metal particles that can be easily measured and controlled. These particulate contaminants can be monitored by the process of abrasion, fatigue and silting. So next is uh, chemical contaminants. So these are the pollutants that are produced by the process of chemical reactions. They contaminate the water and soil and those are arsenic, nitrate, fluoride, manganese, iron etc. So next is gaseous contamination. This type of pollution occurs through the gaseous atmosphere by the components such as sulfur, chlorine, bromine, etc. So next one is uh, microbial contamination. So this is known to be one of the dangerous types of uh, contamination as it does not only affect the environment but it also affects the living system within it. The cause for this is microbes such as the yeast, bacteria, mold, fungi, protozoa, virus or the toxins and byproducts. So next, the pollutants can be degradable like uh, discarded vegetables which rapidly break down by natural processes. So these are the pollutants can be uh, degradable. On the other hand, pollutants which are slowly degradable, that means uh, they remain in the environment in an unchanged form for many decades. For example, substances such as dichlorodiphenyl trichloroethane that we 
commonly called DDT, a plastic materials, heavy metals, many chemicals, nuclear waste, etc. These are once released into the environment are difficult to remove. These pollutants cannot be degraded by natural processes and are they are harmful to living organisms. So in the process of environmental pollution, pollutants originate from a source and get transported by air or water or dumped into the soil by human beings. So next, uh, some applications of uh, environmental chemistry. Uh, these are some applications of environmental chemistry. Uh, these are uh, mentioned here. Environmental chemistry studies the risk factors of all the chemicals in depth to get a solution for the safety purpose of the environment. It is applied in the study of new products and their effects on the environment and this is it is used in the method of protection of groundwater which is polluted by soil, dust and the waste particles. So it is uh, useful for the protection of surface water from the contaminants through the process of sedimentation, uh, bacteriological and radiation. Then the quality of the soil is uh, protected by the methods of environmental uh, chemicals such as by the use of indicators like ecotoxicological and chemical. So then uh, the surface uh, inside cities like uh, the parking lots uh, then rooftops and roads are prone to build up unwanted pollutants such as uh, motor oil, gasoline, nutrients and uh, sediment that is oil hydrocarbon compounds, metals. Then environment, environmental chemistry is applied in the waste management and cleaner productions. So these are some applications of uh, environmental chemistry. So in this uh, class we learn about the definition of uh, environmental chemistry, then uh, components of environment, then contamination or the pollution then variety of uh, contamination, then uh, uh, some applications of environmental chemistry. Thank you.